Bonjour, bienvenue. Welcome back to Grade 8 French. This video is about le passé composé avec être. Back in semester one, we looked at how to write sentences in the past tense by using the auxiliary verb to have. In other words, we were looking at le passé composé avec avoir. Unfortunately, not all sentences can be written in the past tense with the auxiliary verb to have. In today's lesson, we will learn a new way to write sentences in the past tense by using a different auxiliary verb. In English, we write some sentences that use the past tense of the verb to be. Here are a couple of examples. I was going to finish my work. They were not falling asleep in class. Can you think of any other examples? What I want you to do is, after I finish speaking, is put the video on pause so that you can write down at least a couple of examples of sentences that are in English that use the past tense of the verb to be. Put the video on pause now. All right, and before we proceed with the lesson in tomorrow's class, I will ask you guys to share your examples. But moving on now. In French, there are some verbs which require us to use the auxiliary verb être, that means to be, when writing in the past tense. In the following three slides, we are going to look at three important charts that will help us conjugate verbs in the past tense. Now, what I would like you to do when we go through these next through these next three slides, sorry, is to have a smartphone or a tablet nearby where you can take pictures of these slides because you're going to want to use them for reference when we get to the activities in the second half of this video. All right, so of course, in French, there are three verb endings. There's ER, RE, and IR. And let me just explain how this chart works. I'm sorry for some of the poor formatting in the top columns. When you guys get an actual worksheet tomorrow, it'll be spaced out much better. So this is for ER verbs. And what we do is the following. We always start off with our subject, je going through else, and then we're, when we're writing in le passé composé, the past tense, we first write the correct conjugated form of the auxiliary verb être, so je suis, tu es, il est, and so on. And then what we do is we consider whether each subject is masculine, feminine, plural, or singular. So in the case of male singular, we're looking at je, tu, and il. Those are our three possibilities. And what we do is we drop the er from the verb, and we just put e at the end. If the subject is feminine singular, we've got three possibilities, je, tu, and l. So for those ones, we would drop the er and write two e's. If the subject is masculine plural, we have three possibilities again, nu, vu, and eels. And what we do is we drop the er, and we put es at the end. And then finally, for feminine plural, our three possibilities are nu, vu, and els. And we drop the er, and we put a double e, s. And now these tick marks mean that, for example, je cannot be feminine plural. So... We don't need to consider um, a number of different situations because they don't exist. So that's why I see these tick marks here. So I'm going to stop talking so that you can put the video on pause and either take a picture of the slide or take a couple minutes to copy down this chart on a piece of paper. Please do that now. All right, let's move forward. It's the same format for verbs that end in RE, except you'll notice that instead of dropping the last two layers and putting an E, 
we put a U at the end or a U-S if it's masculine plural. And then for the feminine form, to show that it's feminine, we put an E as well. Of course, for feminine plural, it's going to be U-E-S. So again, please put the video on pause so that you can either make a copy of this chart on paper or you can get a digital image. All right, one last chart. Okay, this time for IR verbs. I think this one makes sense. Okay, when you're dropping the IR, you would end the verb with either an I, IE, IS, or IES, depending on the subject. Okay, so please put the video on pause so that you can make a paper copy of this chart or get a digital copy. All right, now, let's get into some activities. For each question, make sure to use the correct conjugation of the auxiliary verb etra. Then correctly conjugate each verb in brackets. So, par example, le capitaine de sa cabine. And the verb is sortir. So, le capitaine, that's masculine singular. singular. So, it's going to be le capitaine a. And because it's masculine singer, singular, we drop the IR and we put I at the end of the verb. So please put the video on pause now so that you can try out these two solutions and then I will reveal the correct answers once you resume. All right, so let's look at our solutions. For un, blanche, avec son uncle, verb is partir. Blanche is feminine singular, so it's going to be a. And because it's feminine singular, it's going to be parti with an e at the end. For next one, nu en gaspasse. Of course, it's going to be nu sam. Now, nu can be masculine or feminine, so that's why. I would write LA by putting extra E in the brackets in case it's an all female group. Okay, of course, the S is at the end because this is a plural subject. So now please put the video on pause so that you can try these two questions at home. All right, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, some more practice here. So please do put the video on pause so that you can try out these remaining six questions. Okay, let's move on. Now, what we're going to do with these test questions is we're going to rewrite them in the negative. They've already been written in Le Passe Composé, avec Etre, but to make the sentences negative, we need to put those two little words, ne and pa, around the auxiliary verb. So, par exemple, le capitaine est sorti de sa cabine, which changed to le capitaine n'est pas sorti de sa cabine. So, please put the video on pause so that you can try out this first question, and then I'll reveal the answer when you resume the video. All right, so we had Blanche et sorti, effects on uncle, your answer should look like this. Blanche n'est pas sorti avec son uncle. So please put the video on pause now so that you can try the second question. All right, moving on. Okay, we've got another four problems here. Please put the video on pause so that you can put each of these sentences in the negative form. All right, I think we have one more slide. Yep. Four more remaining sentences. Please put the video on pause so that you can put these four sentences in the negative. All right, that was a pretty good workout. So after we go over this lesson in tomorrow's class, I will give you some time to work on a couple of practice pages in your CAE. But until we meet tomorrow, this concludes today's video.